so far i really like this yarn the only thing i have to say is that it doesn't slide on the needles very well but it definitely would make a really good washcloth uh, it's just soft enough but just has a scrubby like texture that i think it would be like a really good like exfoliating type washcloth definitely probably not something if you have really sensitive skin that you'd want to use every day like i would not use this on him but just occasionally or a lot of the time i use these as like hot pads so i'll like hold my bowl of whatever i'm eating with this and then they're cotton so you can just throw them in the washer and dryer but so far i am enjoying this yarn a lot actually a lot of the times with cotton sometimes it dries my hands out this one is not doing that it comes in a bunch of different colors i actually got it in another color i'll show you so i got it in this blue color but like i said it comes in a ton of different colors so and i got that from hobby lobby if you want to know how i how i knit these up they go really fast i have a youtube video i'll link it below and i will let you know how this works out and I'll so i decided to go hit up joann's and let me know in the comments did you know that joann's now has a yarn dyeing section they sell kits i didn't know that So we had to leave Joann's because somebody, I won't, I won't mention any names, lost their ever-loving mind <laughs> in the store. He was doing so good back in the yarn section, and then he just started screaming. He was just like, I'm over it. I'm ready to go. So we left. I got a couple skeins of yarn that's similar to this but it's got regular cotton and then it alternates between like this scrubby cotton and regular cotton. The first dishcloth I have was the scrubby yarn from Hobby Lobby. So I like this yarn. I think I said earlier the only thing about it was it doesn't like slide off the needles very well, um, which really isn't that big of a deal. Really, really like this yarn. My only other like artificial complaint, I guess, is I don't really like how it goes from this color this like reddish coral color to this blue like i wish there would have been more of like a transition but that's that's kind of my only complaint and if i make another one i'll have to see how the colors work up it could just be how it worked up when i knitted this specific one that is that one now my favorite one was this one. The only thing that I really noticed about this yarn was the way that they would switch between the regular cotton and the scrubby cotton. They just kind of like twisted it around. But if you kind of tighten up your stitches a little bit when you get to this point where it changes, it's not going to cause any issues. It's a mix of the same scrubby cotton here but then it has regular cotton in between isn't that so pretty i really 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 like these ones and um i think i might actually end up listing them on my etsy page i want to make another one and make it like a two pack um that i'll list on my etsy page this particular yarn that's a mix of the cotton and the scrubby is from joann's it's the sugar and cream scrub off. This is the other color that I got. That's gonna be pretty too. I'm excited for that one. This 
color is just called greens. This one is kind of funny. It's called pretty purple. This all scrubby one I got from Hobby Lobby. This one's from Joann's. So if you want to go out and get some of it, that's where it's from. And I will have a pattern down below of how to make these um, washcloths, dishcloths, whatever you want to call them. I just haven't had time to work on, like, sit and work on my cross stitch because he's kind of going through, like, a always wants to be with me phase. We just cuddle most of the day. <laughs> I haven't actually, like, I have my cross stitch out, but I haven't been able to, like, sit and work on it. While my mom was here visiting, I was able to get some stitching in. So I finished the O and the Y in the boy mom cross stitch. While my mom was here visiting, she got to get her Nana cuddles and I was able to do a little bit of stitching. So I did start another sock and this yarn is called Cozy Toes. I originally got it from Hobby Lobby, but the last time I was there, they didn't have this yarn anymore so i don't know if they discontinued it or what happened thankfully i have a few skeins of it and i also have this particular yarn in multiple different colors because i liked stitching with it so much but let me know if you still have this yarn at your hobby lobby store i don't know if it's just mine here in colorado or what but if you guys like this video i'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you're working on and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. Bye!